the IU basketball team finds itself just one win away from a trip to the Sweet 16, the NCAA tournament, which TV, of course, has been on the road all week long with the Hoosiers in Albany, New York. That's where we find our very own Andrew Chernoff, who has more on IU gearing up to face Miami tomorrow night. The IU locker room is still buzzing about Miller Cop's headband that he wore on Friday night. A new piece to his basketball wardrobe. Cop had a big game against Kent State, scoring 13 points. And now all the Hoosiers continue to talk about it. The IU senior forward decided to wear an upside-down headband during warm-ups and then in the game. A couple guys gave me a little confidence. They were like, yeah, bro, you kind of look good. You kind of look good with it. And that's all I needed to hear. And then I was like, yeah, I'm... I'm, wa- I'm rocking it. The headband may have been a good luck charm for Cop based on his performance. I think he should be wearing that the rest of the tournament. Um, I think it's his style. I think it kind of shows his um, his personality. And so um, I'm rocking with it. I'm rocking with that headband mill for the rest of the tournament. Of course, Cop is not the only player on the Hoosiers to sport a headband. Race Thompson regularly wears one. Who, who wears it better, Race or him? They're both my guys. I can't answer that. I, I, I'll just say they both look good and they both had good performances. Who wears it better, Race or him? Uh, no comment on that. <laughs> you and Jalen had the same reaction to that. <laughs> yeah, I can't choose. I can't choose between two of my guys. The guys seem to be rallying behind the headband. That was news, though, to IU head coach Mike Woodson. I didn't even notice it. Yeah. The one thing I did notice, him making shots. That's the only thing that matters to me. I don't, I don't care about no headbands. But if wearing headbands leads to winning, Woodson is all for it. In Albany, Andrew Chernoff, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.